This is for building a roof. I can't believe how much shit fits in this car. I swear to God. Gross. <laughs> this is the balcony that we're gonna cover. This is the view how you see it now. I'm gonna miss this. All this sky probably is gonna be chopped by the roof, but we need to cover it. The plan is put planks there all along like that. Fix two sets of planks, one, two. A big wooden beam here, big one in the middle and a big one there. And then start building in sections. I don't know yet how the build will be. How, cause uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm making it on the way, but the roof panels are like uh, this sine wave kind of thing. You'll see it in a bit. And they're counting the overlay that you have to have. They're like 75 centimeters. So I'll have beams from 75 to 75 and then beams across. So it holds the snow and things. Let's see how it is. Right, so in order for this to not stay directly on the tiles and get wet and get, you know, rotten, it's treated wood, but still, I'm planning to put these things here. Now, I don't have a large enough circular hole cutter, but I have this one, which is a bit smaller, right? So what I'm doing is cutting a hole with this and then coming with a big drill and making the hole wider, you know, so the thing fits. I only needed to get in like one centimeter or so, you know, um, so then I could put some silicone or some super, super duper outdoor silicone glue thingy, put this in here stick it and that's that now the holes will be i was thinking to put two bolts in this wall and two bolts in this wall but this this is hmm i'll have to put two in put them in put the wood beam in and then drill new holes through the wood in these or uh I don't know yet this is um, a first for me so I'm gonna figure it out as I go along another idea would be to just go diagonal like that that's another option uh, but the wall is like I've had a look I had a look under this so there's a wall going like that and then a wall going like this so this won't be as strong as this, you know what I mean? So I don't know yet. So using this thing, which is amazing, and I need to get more. I fixed these beams up. So you drill the hole, you clean it with the little brush, blow some air into it, and then put this thing in. And this like a resin slash cement slash super hard plastic so these are up there's one with a bracket and two because they're round beams I had to flatten the piece here so this thing goes flat so that's in here Look at the scenery, man. These are the brushes you use to clean the hole after you're done. It comes in two parts. One, and this is the manual thing, but I just put this in the drill and it goes, zzz, remove the dust. I use grandma's car pump with, found this tube so I can blow air in the hole. I 
how it looks. Well, good. What I need to do is join five of these end to end with some screws, some bolts, <coughs> like that. Bang. Uh, I'll use three per length. This should be interesting. Um, because we are in the mountains, but it's hard for some reason to get wood long enough. So I need a six, me six meter beam or two, three meters because I'll have one in the middle also. But you have to order it and wait until October. I don't know what's happening. Uh, so I just got these. Uh, 3.5 by 7 centimeter wood beams they're 2.4 meter meter length so what I want to do is join them like that bam bam so I need, these are 240 so I need to measure 120 here straight tool get it Mark it. So that's where this will start from. You know what I mean? And the same here, same there, same there. Now this balcony's length is five meters, so the beam is six meters. So at one point I'll have to get creative. Probably at the last bit. Until then. Start doing this. Wish I had some wood clamps. I think I'm gonna have to buy or screw in because this is going to be like a structural thing. I chose these without any knots. I made sure they don't have any knots so they'll be nice and strong. Let's butt this against this one. That. Hmm, I'm thinking for this joint I have these bang. Thinking if I should put these first. Now one thing that I should think about is this is a mountainous region, a lot of humidity. And wood expands and contracts. I don't know if I should take that into consideration when I'm doing this. This is my first roof, so there's going to be loads of mistakes, probably. Here we go. Two, and so on. And I'll put like, in the middle, in the end... Yeah, I'll put various screws in. That should be okay. And now, turn it over. Put this on top drill holes, put the bolts in. So instead of wood clamps to make it even stronger, I have these seven centimeter screws. I'm gonna drill a pilot hole in this for this half and then another one for this half. Put the screw in. Yeah that should be it. The size is 11 over 64. What? This might be American. So I'm just going to drill the pilot hole at 60 to make it exact, 60 is here, and another 60 here, so it's not, it's not really straight this wood beam, but it's alright, 60 here, and two. If you space out the wood just a bit, you'll feel when you reach the end. One. Now, if this is going to work, this is a whole new way of building stuff. So, plate here, screws there, and now drill the bolt holes. So, for this, 6 mil bolt, a quarter inch hole. So this hole is going to protrude on both sides. 
the hull should be 30 here and 90 here so I'm gonna mark them now Thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty is the pause because it's the middle, one fifty, and one eighty, and two hundred ten. Okay, mark the centers. This is a seven point five, so three point seven. Three. 7. I've just thought of something. Since this is a structural beam and it's 6 meters long, I've got loads of these. So I'm just gonna put these all along. That should help bond this wood into one piece, really. I'm gonna put some in here also. Because why not? Just needs a tiny bit because it's gonna be squeezed in there. Alright, now put this on top. Man, this is not going anywhere in the next 100 years. Right now, for these holes, I probably need a spacer underneath make sure you go as straight as you can drill the hole there's one check the screw it's perfect it needs to be super tight well tight Not sure if I got the last part, but after you drill the holes, you turn this over. You put the bolts in, tap them in with a hammer, and then flip it, washer nut, tighten. That's it. Now, I'm making this clip because I searched on YouTube for people that did this and they all use ginormous beams of wood mostly because they're in the states and they have everything's bigger there but this is a more economical way of building I think if it's gonna last there's that guy there that has a balcony and I think the beams are actually thinner than mine so his balcony is smaller but I think this should be okay with the glue and bolts and screws and these plates I don't think there's gonna be a problem alright I'm ready to stand on this like that I think nothing's gonna happen to it let's see Hmm. flexes it flexes now for the endings I'll have to chop one of these in two and go one two more bolts there plate so I might have I might do that now and then send this over so I can work on the other end half and cut there it is the other half there, put the glue in, screws, holes, bolts, same, the same principle. Alright, so I did some, wo some work off camera, this beam is complete. It's a bit bouncy for my liking. I think we might be able to get away with it. I mean, but that's on a length of 6 meters, but it will have a support in the middle which is this one I've added these ears so I can put them in all I need to do is 
do two of more of those holes in here. Put the thingy in and then elevate this into position. There's the third set of holes. This put it to unscrewing so it doesn't go get the dust in, just the dust out and go second speed. So you put the thing in, see, all this dust needs to go out. The same for this hole. On this hole I struck some hollow, so for hollow stuff. I've got these wall plugs, I'll show them to you in a bit. So keep doing this until minimum dust is coming out or no dust. When you're done with the little brush, put the big brush in. The more dust you can take out, the better is it, it's gonna adhere to the hole. All right, so these are those uh, plastic rivets or plastic thingies, <coughs> wall plugs for this, in case you have a hollow spot um, this thing goes in this and it doesn't pour out and I do have a hollow spot here and there so I'm just gonna use these things for now how I did it previously there, you just push this in all the way and it goes past the hollow spot and that's it you only use these if you have a hollow spot and I do have bolts here so I bought 10 so I'm just gonna use them now here's what they don't show you what to do with this if to cut it or not on the previous one it just came off by itself on this one I think I have to cut it there it is the magical stuff and then you start all the way from the bottom uh, but first you're supposed to pour it on something to see if it's uniform so I'm just gonna use this piece of wood here see how it mixes itself when it comes out it needs to come out a uniform color like a grey that's it there it is throw out and now you start from the bottom bottom and you work your way to the edge like that and then you put the beam in circular motion they said my inspiration was that guy see yeah. he's got the same kind of roof I think his one is smaller this one is six meters oh, for sure. yeah. yeah what I don't know how to do is the last piece of roof how am I gonna bolt that on without climbing on the roof you know? Is That's one of this, this high? Yeah. And then... So where the ladder finishes. Somewhere there. And it's gonna come on a slant. You know? So it's downhill like that. And I can... Like climb on the ladder and put the screws in on the... I don't know how to do it yet. I'm still... I'm still thinking. This is like, uh, you know how dentists do fillings? Yeah. It's like that. A two-part resin. But man, when it dries, it's... It's as if this bolt is was in the cement. This is the roof here, down there. This thing. Ah, oh, okay. You know? Yeah. Two meter pieces the roof is longer it's gonna be two meter forty so I have more of these that I can cut and put in continuation you know 
and they they bend. Oh, flight. Wait, yeah, so... and they bend. So when I climb up the ladder, I can do these screws and then leave this. Go to the next one. They kind of overlay on top, and then next one do these screws, bend it. Yeah. And then the last last one, because it's gonna be like. Yeah. You put it from the middle. Well, uh huh. Something like this. Uh huh. You put it, yeah. and then you try to make a screw from the, like from, the from, down. from down. I was thinking to have like a wood piece on top and screw from down. Yeah. That's the easiest way. It's gonna look crap though. Okay, this is a new day, this is the progress. I managed to fit this beam up. Bolt it in. Four screws each. And now... I created another one of these six meters which I was thinking how to fix a six meter beam to the house which was nearly impossible so I've split it into three sides that's the middle it's it's got this thing in here so I can come with the other end on top and put some screws in here to make it all safe and it's going to have one bolt in the middle, one here, one the opposite side, three for this side, and three for that side. Similar thing, kind of one here, one offset because I can't go in the middle because of this, and one at the end, which is going to be interesting because that's that side of the wall. That's going to be pretty interesting. So I'm starting with the middle one. Drilling this hole. This house is insulated also. So that's not the wall. Probably the wall starts somewhere here. I'll see when I drill the hole. So here it is. The first middle screw is in. Man, this, this resin thing is insane. Like, seriously, it's the shit. So there's the first screw. My plan is to oh, drill the hole here in the middle, put the plank up there, then drill hole, drill hole, drill hole, drill hole, so they match. Or just drill the holes down here and then mark, yeah, drill the holes in the wood down here. Put this up there, mark exactly the spot, drill the hole, put the screws in. This stuff is magical, man. Alright, making progress. That's in there now. I'm gonna use this tool, this level, to see if it's level. It's scary here at the third floor, especially when a little wind goes. It's uh, scary. So I'm gonna level this. So, windy, so it needs to go down a bit from there, too much, that should be it, now pop a screwdriver in here and in there, mark the holes, spin this, do the holes, Put the bolts in, then take it out and put it back in, which is gonna be interesting to say the least. Alright, hole number two. I'm gonna make sure this is straight. Uh, going straight, so bring it straight to so like that.
brush. Take the stuff out. Okay, now the plastic bit. And change the nozzle on that. And next hole. So that's done. I need to put the screws in. Um, then cut the bolts. Um, and then move to the next ones. Now the side ones are going to be at least interesting to say. Because I need to cut some of that from that. I'm putting the screw in first and then cutting. This is like a technique so you keep the... Um, the thread alive because otherwise when you cut you can damage the thread and then the next the next uh, nut's not gonna go in so angle grinder I've cut that that and now the last one I'm gonna have to buy more of these because there'll be one two here and one two there I've got that and this so i'll need at least one more that is if i'm not gonna make three like here put one in the middle and then one there one there the music in the background by a friend of mine a good friend of mine called sebastian eric check him out on soundcloud he's wicked he makes his tunes mixes them now for tightening the last bolt, the last uh, nut, sorry. I don't want to tighten it too much because this is polystyrene. And I don't want to mess it up. So that's that. Let's do a test to see how much the overhang is. Not a whole lot. I was expecting way more, really. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this a bit, so it goes a bit flusher. And then drill a hole, drill two holes, one, and maybe two so it goes in this and in that right so I've marked up there the points where I need to cut and trim this wood a bit this is the second beam so I'm gonna mark it here also. This one, two. This is cutting, and on the other side, that's here. There's one. the other here. right that's cutting that's cutting so on the other side it was this is two centimeters and on the other side it was 1.5 unless I join them and cut them in the same time this is long enough, I think. Nah, barely cutting two of them. So let's, let's have a look. Yeah, that's extension maximum. So I can't cut two of them at the same time. Oh, come on. There it is. Let's do a test fit.
That's sweet. I'm happy with that. Alright, so the first beam, first hole. I decided hole, hole, and then I'll bolt them in. Hole number one. So before I screw this in, I need to make sure it's square. Uh -huh. And it looks like it is. Okay, so that's. I think it's good here. So I'm just gonna drill it. Hole number one. Yeah, man. Okay, so I've drilled those two holes and put the bolts in. I had to kind of wing it. I uh, put a bolt in here, a longer one, so this can hang down so I have an anchor point here. And then I, with a level, I twisted this up until it was level, right? Marked the holes. And because it was this angly thing, I had like one centimeter here of play. So I marked the holes and then one centimeter offset for the true holes. So there's the first, second and the third will be on that beam. That's going to be insane for me to drill. Yeah. Uh, but for now I'll put the wood beam here. Screw in here, bolt, bolt. And then I'll figure out a way to drill there, through the wood. Ooh. Life's uh, interesting. I made little progress. Because yesterday it was raining. Today is shit also, but it's workable. Um, you know when you let someone else do what you're supposed to do? I let some guy do that, those three holes. And um, yeah, you can see it's not aligning there. It's not aligning on the other side. Fucking hell, man. So now this is going to be interesting. Yeah, uh, but I'm kind of happy because um, I can start doing the, you know, the sides, the 2.4 meter lengths now, and I can start them anytime. It's easy to do them. This and that was the complicated bit, and I'm almost there. Almost done. Almost. In the end, I managed. I don't know how much of this went into the hull, but I squeezed like a quarter of a tube. The thing is that nozzle is not long enough and I had the wood and the insulation, so like I lost half of the nozzle. But I should be all right. The only thing I need to do now is put a screw there, straighten it, like in the other side. And then tighten these or wait a bit and then start doing the the cross beams. Start with that double one, and another one, double one in the middle. Another double somewhere here. Tighten the screws. That's that. The weather is on and off. The sky is kind of half and half, uh, but it's still workable. I put that beam there, double beam. Now I can climb on this ladder and do whatever the fuck I want. I need to reinforce the structure like that guy has. Because it's wiggling this way, so I'm just gonna put like a, a beam across, you know, to reinforce it. And it's gonna be one here and one on the other side. I've marked this and cut here and here. Now probably I'm gonna go with the drill like that multiple times and then put the pendular saw on one side and on the other side uh, to make this straight bit. Unless I do loads of holes and put the band saw in and then cut straight. Because the pendular saw tends to be angled for some reason, for some unknown reason. It doesn't look like it is, but when you start it, it goes like that, or like that. Why? I don't know why. Now that's too big, I'll try with a smaller one. Maybe even a smaller one, like this one. 
to work with in situations like this. There we go, the small one works. Super cold beer. I think I got it. The trick is to go 90 degrees first, get the bit in, and then guide it to the proper angle. Okay, though, but hey, hey, what do you know? It kind of fits. I need to angle this a bit. All right, not that. And now that this is here, I'll mark this one here. Should be cut like that. Cut it, and bolt it in. So that's number one. Perfect. And I'll do number two as well. So it fits. If it sits, it fits. That one's just a millimeter lower, but that's okay. I've got no problem with that. I'll take the glue out, drill the holes, drill the holes, and that should be in here. 14 centimeter screws, either side. One each, I think is fine. One each board, and I'll put a bolt in the middle. Okay. And then like that. Man, how do you like them apples? Doesn't want to go in. Right, so. This goes in first. Like so. Here and here. I'm gonna go down one step so I can have leverage. Hold this motherfucker. And let's see what's going on. That's in there. That's number one. I'll drill the hole for number two, put the screw in. And that should be it for this one. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot the glue. God damn it. It is Sunday, and because it's not raining, I'm going to ignore the fact that it's Sunday. So, uh, I'm doing some little work. So, I put this up. I made those things. Yeah, and now I'm doing that one. And after that, I ran out of screws. And... Shops are not open here on Sunday, which I think is a good thing because people can actually have a weekend. Uh, yeah, I think I'll hit pause. I'll go on maybe another one or two there, and that's it because no more screws. This is the end of today. This half is kind of how it should be. Now it's just the, long, the length to go in, four in number. Yeah, I'm happy for a Sunday. Cool. Yes, this moment finally happened. I finished with all these. All of them are doubles except the edges. Bam, bam. That should be alright. And now, I'm still deciding if I should put on a length of two meters three across 
or for four. I think it has to be four. So the first one will be 10 centimeters inwards from the edge. That's the center of it. And then 60 by 60 I'm thinking to go. Uh, the planks will be laid not like this, like that. Because 60 by 60 here it's really strong. So you see this is the length of 2 meters that I have. And wind, snow, weight, blah blah blah. I'm thinking to put 4 across so it's going to be 1 here. 10 and then 60 down. 1 here at 70. Plus 60, 1 here at 130. And that's 200 there. Unless this, I put it on 190 or something like that. Alright, let's take it up. So, uh, this one is gonna be a, a full piece from the edge to here. So, there it is. It's gonna be like that somehow. Yep. That's that there. All I have to do is measure it, drill some holes, and fix it. So we said 10 centimeters from the edge for the middle. So if you go roughly, man. My preciseness is crazy. Right, so what I'll do is measure the edge, drill a hole, measure the other edge, drill a hole, and then drill the rest of the holes and put the screws in. Yeah. Alright, so. Unless, this is 7.5, right? So, 7.5, if I go from here, from this edge, from this edge, 14, 14, I might not need the holes. Hmm. Alright, you got the point you got the point. Next one will be from there to here and then 1.2 meters will be one of one of these because they have these big knots. This plank only has this much wood. So this is no no strength here. So I'll just sacrifice this and that pointer for you guys when you buy wood don't buy it with knots because uh, it's just gonna break here we are a couple of hours later I'm talking like this because I'm looking up and it's weird um, I have four of these across for the two meter pieces and now the last one in my head should be the same being in charge with finishing the roof so the last pieces and that thing that goes on the on the uh, the wall so um, I'm still thinking how to do that but it looks really nice really nice hey the first panel is kind of up I ran out of screws again I still don't know how am I gonna fit the last one no idea a friend of mine suggested building a little ladder on the end there like uh, could do that 
Alright, so the last beam has been installed and I started with these things. I'm just gonna show you how. So, uh, there it is. As per the Hondi line instructions, the first layout of screws needs to be on all of these sine waves and then the next ones every other one and then the top one I'll probably do every other one also uh, and on the edge edge I'll do every one if I can although there in that corner it's gonna be at least interesting these are if I'm not mistaken one two three four plates so I'm halfway yet yeah. four plates music in the best background Sebastian Eric SoundCloud him so to see my technique of doing this by myself I'm just gonna record this I'm not a roofer or a carpenter this probably isn't the most professional technique out there, but it's my technique, so shut up. Alright. Lucky for me, there's no wind. Because if there would be, it would have been interesting. And that's it. That's how this goes in here. Double lucky for me, this bends. So I'm cool. So I can put the first batch of screws here and then move the leather. Do the rest of the screws. I don't know if I mentioned, this is on top of the third floor. So that's the fourth floor. As for heights, here you go. It's pretty high. Kind of got used to it, and I trust my structure, so it's alright. That is the process. I'm gonna stop the recording because, you know, that's how it is. Here's a good lesson to learn if you mess up the holes, like I did there. Get some silicone glue or something and just press it in there like that. And on the other side, just make it flat with the roof. Like that. Super cool glue, mammoth glue. It says it's for everything, like everything. Right, so if you're in my situation, first you have a nice beer. Alright, but in all, in all seriousness, if you're in my situation, and that's the only, that's the only uh, access to your roof, um, I've developed a plan. So, see how I have this, 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 that. What I'm gonna do is the edge piece here, I'll cut it so it comes to here. So I have this space to maneuver and go in, right? And then this side, this section, this open section, I can just cut it like that and then put this in and then put that side in and then put that side in so here's my mark there's my little scissors I'm just gonna do that cut it this shit is really hard to cut it's 
it's like a it's really hard to cut uh, so one two one two cut check again one two one two cut here and the middle if you do stuff like this the best way to cut it I tried the cutter I tried the fucking uh, metal sheet scissors nah angle grinder man it just eats it and it's so like you can go so precise see this is with cutters and stuff all of this with angle grinder you could cut one on this side these turn it over on the other side amazing thank you grandma for the tip see you learn shit from everybody right so i got all of this done except that piece this is the third segment i'll show you I'm actually proud of this method. Low risk method. Oh man. Alright, so see, this is cut on the length of it, longitudinally. Is that a word? And then that's one section. This is the second section. I'll measure the third one to be equal with this Then I'll start with these ones Alright, as for the roof termination I've cut this in half This had another side like that and it went on top So I've cut it in half And I'm using the same 7cm screws in the same bar beam like that so now the water is gonna go instead of going here so witness this is under pressure from the screws I don't think I need to put any more silicone here or anything I think it's fine anyway I'm not I can't reach there so fuck it happy days sunny days holidays Guess what? It's finished. Even with these things. Now, the caulk, if I need to, I could just apply it using this method here. <laughs> but I don't think I need to. Uh, obviously, this is the last piece that was hard to reach, so I've put screws just like that. It's done, and I'm not dead. And I didn't have to climb the roof. Honestly, I didn't plan this to be that high so I can reach it from here But this is one of them lucky accidents 6 meter by 2.4 Roof done Sick <laughs> That's a bitch. I was kind of dangling off this Tied with the uh, with a car strap to the radiator and my leg, and Paulina was holding the other leg and passing me screws. But it's done, bitches.